Hi, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome. My name is Emma. I'm also known as Spooky Astronauts here on YouTube. And every week I do two videos about thrillers and horror movies, giving you a ton of recommendations. And today I want to talk about some foreign horror films that you may have missed. Some from a few decades ago, the 70s, all the way up to this year. I have a collection of amazing foreign horror movies I can't wait to recommend to you. Let me know how many of these you've seen down below. And of course, if you know of any other foreign horror hidden gems that you don't hear people talking about enough, please leave them down in the comments below and maybe I'll feature them in a future video. I have done a video like this before, so if you wanna check it out, here you go. It was pretty popular, so I wanted to follow it up with some new films to put on your to watch list. And let's get straight into it, starting with images. This is a UK psychological drama horror that is chilling to the bone. The film is set in Ireland and takes place in what should be a beautiful landscape, but soon it morphs into haunting imagery when paired with the unsettling storyline. Directed by Robert Altman, the film stars Susanna York as Catherine, a writer who after receiving anonymous phone calls believes her husband is having an affair. As an attempt to get away and to clear her mind, they head to their secluded cottage in the countryside. But as they arrive, so do Catherine. Catherine's illusions, growing stronger by the minute, and her stream of consciousness soon collides with reality, resulting in her inability to tell what's real from a delusion. Images is a surrealist journey wrapped in the narration of a children's fantasy that Catherine is writing. It's a great example of how simple sequences can build both tension and terror. The cinematography itself is worth the watch, the warmth and the shadows created by the story is burnt into my mind, and if you aren't already sold, it was actually nominated for an Oscar in 1973 because of its wonderful original dramatic score composed by none other than legend John Williams. You can catch this one for free on Tubi in America. But if 70s surrealism isn't your thing, the next one may tickle your fancy. Good Manners is a Brazilian fantasy horror that aims to tug on heartstrings. The movie is about Clara, a nurse who is hired by a woman as the future nanny for her child. But until the baby is born, Clara is to help the woman prepare and with household tasks. But as the two women begin to develop a strong bond, their relationship comes to a traumatic halt when Clara is faced with the woman's secret. The movie is what I would usually refer to as a journey film. It starts with one challenge and ends in a complete completely different setting. There are so many unique factors to this film. It's a whimsical ride full of strong stylization, including illustration to tell key parts of the story. It also has some strong CGI in parts, but the payoff is worth the trade for practical effects. I don't want to scare anyone off with this creative film, but I have to say there is some musical elements. But above all, Good Manners is a breathtaking fairy tale, touching yet dark at the same time. And I'd be lying if I didn't admit to the fact that I did shed a couple of tears throughout this film. It's definitely a tear jerker. Next, we head to Italy for The Psychic. This film is also known as Murder to the Tone of Seven Black Notes, and it is a giallo masterpiece that truly does not get the attention it deserves. After recently watching this one, I think it may be one of my favorite giallo pieces after Suspiria. The film is directed by Master Lucio Flucci and stars Jennifer O'Neill as Virginia. As stated in the title, Virginia is a psychic and her world is turned upside down when she has a vision of a murder. She must now piece together the clues with different aspects from her photographic memory. But like all good murder mysteries, not everything is as it seems. This is a seriously satisfying watch with epic music, cherry red blood and striking visuals. And of course, there's the occasional Italiana zoom. One aspect of the story is to do with the seven note theme song, which of course is referenced in the alternative title. Quentin Tarantino was such a fan of the film that he ended up incorporating the seven note theme into Kill Bill Volume 1. He also tried to get a remake of the film which he would have directed off the ground in early 2000s, but after the announcement it fell through. If you're a fan of murder mysteries, 
you need to check this one out. If you watch my 13 Days of Horror, you already know about this next hidden gem because my reaction to it said it all. November is a fantasy drama horror film from Estonia and I would describe it as being like a Shakespearean black and white masterpiece brought to life, but also with the most unique edition of folklore you have ever seen. November is about a poor Estonia village where a group of peasants use magic and folk remedies to survive. But during these plagues, a love triangle brews, resulting in horrific consequences. The film brings Kratz to life, which are magical creatures found in Estonian mythology. They are created by offering the devil three drops of blood and then they're formed by using old household objects. A Krat will obey its master, doing anything from small chores to stealing from others. There is a lot going on in this film and every moment is filled with wonder and loss. The film is based on an Estonian novel, which is a bestseller for the last two decades. November has won several awards for its breathtaking and bewildering cinematography, including the Spotlight Award by the American Society of Cinematographers and Best Cinematography in an International Narrative Feature at the Tribeca Film Festival. If you're into unique art house stories with captivating visuals, this one is 100% worth your time. You can rent this one on Vimeo in most countries. Next, let's go to Russia and I'm so excited for the next film. I actually received this one earlier this year, but I put it off for a little bit and my friend Jasper from Sweden, thank you so much for giving me that extra nudge on Instagram and getting me to watch this one. I am not sorry I did and I'm kicking myself that it took me this long and that is why I'm passing on the recommendation to you guys. Sputnik is a drama sci-fi horror that was only released this year, but it is available on streaming devices like Voodoo in America. The film is a must for any astronaut or space film fan. It's an epic creature feature mystery that keeps unraveling until the final scene. The movie follows Tatiana, a doctor who was recruited by the military to assess a cosmonaut who survived a traumatic accident. I don't want to say too much because each reveal is bound to leave you shocked and in awe at the same time. The film is heavy on the action and even has some impressively disgusting gore kills. Before I go, I did want to throw in a bonus one and this is mainly for people who are a fan of the Masters of horror series. This is a Spanish TV film called The Baby's Room. This is from the same director that brought us The Bar. The film is part of the series Six Films to Keep You Awake, but The Baby's Room was so popular it got its own international release, and it can now be rented on platforms such as Voodoo in America. Running at only one hour and 17 minutes, the film is a fast-paced mystery about a family that moves into a new home. One night, the husband and wife hear voices coming through their baby monitor, which sends the husband into a spiral, trying to find out what's on the other side. The film does seem very predictable, but there are some twists. And much like Masters of Horror, it is a low budget production, so it isn't well polished. But what it lacks in details, it makes up for in its unique story. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. If you do find these kinds of videos helpful, please give it a like. It lets me know that you want more. And if we do want more, make sure to subscribe and why not share this video with a friend who you might want to watch one of these films with. Again, if you have any recommendations for foreign horror movies that you think are hidden gems and you don't hear people talk about enough, leave them down in the comments. We're all going to be going through them and finding some great recommendations. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you very soon. Stay spooky. Bye.